Hey guys, it's Anna Jazz back with another video. If you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're not, welcome back. So today I'm just gonna give you guys a three month update on my sister locks. So I got them in June, it is now September. Time is super flying, it's crazy. But basically, so for my sister locks, the three month journey so far, I don't have really any complaints. The most convenient thing is literally waking up and going, especially throughout my pregnancy. So as far as like my sister locks go, um, they are curling up at the ends, as you can see. Um, and then it seems like they are getting a little bit fuller. So we on the way, the shrinkage is real, but it was real before. So it seems like they are really actually trying to like thicken up a little bit. I can tell basically um, from the root they were a lot thinner from the beginning y'all saw and now they're like on their way on their way so we can get to this budding stage and lock up but as far as the maintenance it's easy 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 if you're watching this and you've been thinking about locks for a long time this is your sign to just get the locks or do the locks whatever your plan is you might as well go ahead you won't regret it so basically maintaining it going once a month it's for like two or three hours to get them retightened that's the best maintenance ever like i remember when i had natural hair every week it was a new style that i had to try to figure out am i gonna do a twist out am i gonna do like try to figure out this perm rock that's gonna fail anyway <laughs> so it's none of that it really is just trying to find different styles if i go somewhere to kind of be like switch it up a little bit but other than that literally just water and i have not tried like tea tree oil that's my next step is to implement kind of oil because they feel a little bit dry so i'm gonna try tea tree oil in my water a couple drops like in spray and see if that kind of helps moisturize I don't spray my hair with water every day only if i'm trying to style it and it's a little bit like it's feeling real stiff and not trying to like let me manipulate it <laughs> then i'll use the water other than that i love my loctician i'm still going to the same person don't really have plans to change or switch up on her she always completes them in a timely manner and then also i, I have my days where i'm like i'm not feeling it i am accepting and embracing the shrinkage because i feel like it shrunk up a little bit more but then like i said earlier it got fuller so i'm not really mad like if it shrunk up and then it wasn't full i might be a little upset but i'm not <laughs> it's not too bad and then another thing as far as sister locks go i'm not spending hours in the mirror trying to figure out how if a twist out went wrong what to do i'm not trying to figure out like literally it, it cuts so much time out of your morning i work from home but if i had to go to work this would be this would be so easy like literally just wake up and go like i said the, the thing all you have to do is figure out how you want to style it if you're tired of wearing it you know it is a little bit more difficult to find styles as it being this length you know like you could if it was a little bit longer i could do like ponytails or could have a little bit more flexibility in styling but those days are coming so i think i'm gonna give y'all every three month update to keep you in the loop and let y'all know what's going on i've been looking at color i know that's gonna come in time but i really would like be interested in coloring them way down the line probably like a a, a a brownish a gold brown almost like my shirt like that color maybe even it's just the tips or something like that i have still been using the suave clarifying shampoo to wash it and just letting it air dry just about every time i go she does have to re um twist like two or three in the back like they just slip and they it's just like for example literally um, i'm trying to see if i can show you literally just hair at this point like it's oh that might be a cute style I'll just put it up but anyway yeah literally just hair you know it's just like nope i'm not locking you gotta lock me back up again and then there's some more on it's like one like a small piece here on this side as far as my edges i'm not seeing any slippage up there or any damage to them they actually seem to be holding on strong so that's good i really don't have too many cons the only thing only thing i would have to say is you do have to include getting your hair retightening in your budget 
because it comes so quickly. You be like, once a month, that's nothing. Then you look around, you be like, oh, that's a um <laughs> another one. But I mean, it's just the same as if you were to be getting weave done, wigs, or braids. Those are probably even more expensive. Faux locks are like three, three hundred, two hundred dollars. So either way, you're still gonna probably be getting your hair done. But you just gotta make sure you kind of like let me make sure I put this to the side because you'll look around and be like, whoa, it's been a whole month. It's time to go get them recycling again. All right, and so I'll say all this to say is, is sister locks are definitely worth getting. Um, I highly, 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 highly recommend them if you've been thinking about them. They are initially expensive, but at the end of the day, it is worth it in my opinion. So that sums up my three month update for my sister locks comment below when you started your sister locks or what is stopping you from getting your sister locks and i appreciate you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one. Oh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're still here you might as well hit the subscribe button like this video and comment below see you in the next one bye